Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 13 in chapter 26. Chapter 26 is about DC circuits. We can see there we have eight light bulbs connected in parallel. Keyword parallel connection. To a power supply, it is 110 volts by two long leads of total resistance 1.4 ohms. We can draw a picture at there. We see the total voltage is 110 volts. Internal resistance is 1.4 ohms, right? And then for each light bulb, the current goes through, we can write as IR at 0.24 amperes. Ask you, what is the resistance for each light bulb? What fraction of the total power is wasted in the leads? Mm -hmm. Now, question. How can we get the resistance for each light bulb? That means we need to get the voltage across the light bulb divided by the current, right? You can see the current is given, so the it looks like a very initial. We need to find the terminal voltages from this power supply. So terminal voltages is the total voltage minus the current times the internal resistance. Mm -hmm. And we can see the total voltage is given, internal resistance is given, so we need to find the total current. You can see it tells us eight light bulbs connected in parallel. So that means the total current should be eight times the current for each light bulb, right? So we input this eight times IR inside. We get function, look like this one. Input all the given quantities, we get the terminal voltage as 107.3 volts. Right it is there. Now, next step, find the resistance for each light bulb. We can use the terminal voltage divided by the current for each light bulb, and then it's 450 ohms. Next question. What fraction of the total power is wasted in the leads? So it looks like first one we need to get the total power. Second one we need to get a wasted power in leads, right? So total power, so easy. Just use the total current times the total voltage it is given. And then the wasted power in leads, that is a current square times internal resistance. Right, and then we want to know what fraction, so we use the power wasted divided by the power total. And then you can see current, current can cancel, you get the function look like this one. Input the given quantities is just 2.5%. Thank you.